final hour, as always, joined by James A. Custer. Hello, James. Morning. Cut you off morning. there, James, before we uh, get into you. Um, just need to announce the competition results. The winners of the tickets are Verity and Craig. Yes, that's and to see Sean and you. To see Sean and me. And as a, a, a ri- <laughs> bit of a bonus on that, uh, Verity also tweeted again to say... I saw James Acast at the Conservative Club in Goring by Sea last night. Oh my! And for that, you've won an extra six hundred <laughs> tickets. <laughs> he I was mean, good. <laughs> I mean, there's a. Uh, I mean, was it's, it's ever a more depressing moment in my life. It's when, it's when my, my two mates are going, you know, doing the Apollo. Uh, saw James Acast at the Conservative Club in Goring <laughs> last night. <laughs> At least you didn't have to give tickets away for the Conservative Club in Goring by Sea. So, uh, James, you've had a big week. Big week. I'm a conservative club. No, one. I mean, t- tell you, you know what I'm angling at. I know what you're getting at. It's the best you met thing that's Wigfield. Ever to you. Yeah, Wigfield. If, it, if anyone doesn't remember Wigfield, she did the pop hit Saturday night uh, in the early, was it early 90s? No, probably no, mid 90s. Mid 90s. It uh, knocked uh, Love Is All Around by White, White, White off number one when it was going for the record. Knocked is a bit of a soft, smashed it <laughs> <laughs> off, off, off of the top, top spot. Yeah, so how was it? It's amazing. She, she, uh, she's my friend now on Facebook. I'm Facebook friends with a, a childhood hero. <laughs> <laughs> so I never thought that so would happen. So why you, you oh. met her? She did never mind the buzzcocks. Never mind the buzzcocks. She was in the lineup, and you had to. The, you know, if you haven't seen Never Mind the Buzzcocks, there's a line. There's a lineup <laughs> of five people, and you had to say which one is the is the pop star of yesteryear. You must have got it straight away, didn't you? Yeah, I just I looked right at her and went, "There's Wigfield." <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else, well, sadly, they the were looking for. Uh, they were looking for. For one of TLC, so they're really awkward. Yeah. Regina G. <laughs> 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 yeah. I always used to get her yeah. mixed up with Gina G. Did you? Yeah. What was Gina G's one? Who are just like? a little bit. Yeah. You're similar, right? Ooh, uh, Saturday night. <laughs> 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 Gina G's one. Yeah. 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 Well, I, I, I didn't really Wiggers? get to meet her. I had to interrogate her during the uh, uh, the lineup bit. Yeah, and uh, had a bit of back and forth. But then she had to she had to rush off and go to her brother's birthday meal uh, yeah. in London. So she told the runners that uh, I should add her on Facebook as a friend. And I thought well, that's clearly a joke. <laughs> <laughs> She's not going to accept me as a friend on Facebook. So did you just type Wigfield into Facebook? And she was. <laughs> I typed Wigfield in, and then her page came up which said Wigfield, and then in brackets, uh, Sani Carlson. That's her real name. Oh, yeah. That's what happens when you Don't get into show away. business. Huh? Don't give that away. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. the magic. <laughs> her real name is Wigfield. <laughs> it's, all, it's all she gets known by. She's like a Brazilian footballer. She's only got one, one name. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah. And so I, I found her found personal page. I don't know. She, she approved that request in seconds. <laughs> Straight up. She's probably still at her brother's birthday meal, checking her phone relentlessly <laughs> to see if uh, James Acast would. So when did you add her? On the night? Um, I think the next day. I, I, I played it cool, mate. Yeah. yeah. Oh, played it cool. Yeah, Leave her waiting. Leave so her. then have you had a bit of a tete-a-tete with Wiggers? Yeah, I said, because uh, basically I, I had to do a dance at her at one point. Uh, and it? this is a Saturday night dance, but I got it wrong. Yeah. Uh, obviously. I uh, did the Macarena. Remember, you didn't have to do that. That was your choice. <laughs> that was my choice. <laughs> <laughs> I should probably point that out. It was. Well, I was, I was kind of, Noel Fielding got out a gun and said, do the dance. <laughs> John Hanna twisted my arm, if I'm honest. John Hanna was the host. He, he's just going around to me. Uh, and, uh, yeah, new competition. If you know who John Hanna is, <laughs> you, you win tickets to my next show at the Gorman Conservative Club. <laughs> Even IMDb doesn't know. No, no. no idea. This comes up with, if so, you just fill it out like Wikipedia. So, as an end to the story, how has uh, how have things been left with the young wiggers? Uh, she said that she liked my dance, and that, uh, and she, then she invited me to like her page, Wigfield. <laughs> I liked it. I invited her to like my page, James Acaster. That request is pending. <laughs> <laughs> the moment she uh, is playing quite the game. So let's put out an appeal. Wigfield, if you're listening, please like James's page because... She's not still going, is she? She is. She's <laughs> actually still quite big in Denmark. She's got a new album what, what's out. What she do? All the other days? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and times of day. I think, I think she's now on Sunday afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Her album's like that Craig David song. <laughs> yeah. 